So we are going to be making use of the React Native Facebook SDK to create a, an app that can accept the Facebook login button that whenever we click on it, we can as well use the Facebook feature on the Android phone or on the platform that we are actually using. So it's not going to be a much uh, tutorial, it's just going to be something very short, but it's going to help you to achieve using the React Native Facebook SDK, which is kind of uh, problematic whenever you come with uh, doing it on React Native. So let's get started. So I just initialized a simple React Native project and that's what we're going to be building on. So there are some couple dependencies we just have to install. So quickly, let's just go over to the React Native Facebook SDK documentation on GitHub just to grab this line of code because we are not going to make any of the steps they put on here because it's going to crash your application. So let me just go over to that uh, blog post. I'm going to enter into the blog post because we are going to be using the steps from this blog post you see here. So there are some things I need to put down in case you are finding it difficult to use the React Native on your PC or on your personal computer. So these are also the steps. So there are some additional tabs you can see open here. We have one, the Facebook app uh, for the link for creating Facebook app. So when we go over there, you can see I just created a simple app. I just created a simple app. So make sure you just, you just come here and create a simple app you can use. So after this uh, tutorial, I'm still going to get rid of this. And uh, this link, I'm still going to provide it. Okay, of course, it's on my blog. Actually, here is, is uh, the Facebook login slash Android. You can see here. There are some cool steps they did put down. Of course, if you follow every step here, your app is not going to work because most things have actually changed. That is why I decided to uh, make a blog post and as well make a video tutorial that you can uh, use together to achieve that. So let's just go ahead and install the React Native Facebook SDK. So I'm just going to add that with you on and give that a couple of seconds. So why this is uh, installing? We are not going to link this dependency because from React Native 0.62.2, I guess auto linking is now working. So you don't really need to link your modules uh, manually anymore because whenever you run your application, it's just going to link for you directly. You don't even need to bother. So we don't have to follow, uh, uh, maybe do something like React Native link, especially when you have a package that needs linking. So back here, now let's just go ahead and apply every steps that we need from here. So the first thing is to go over to, uh, uh, let's say the name of the file, name of the folder project, android slash build.gradle. I'm just going to copy this line of code. Uh, just like you can see here below this uh, JD center. So I'm just going to come to Android, think uh, build.gradle. I'm just going to add that in the repository section. So I'm just going to go back to that blog post. The second thing is to add this in also Android, I think uh, Android slash app slash build.gradle. So if you can observe, the relative parts are different. We have, we have one uh, just in the Android folder, we have one in the Android slash app folder. So I'm just going to go over to this Facebook login documentation and grab this. So this changes according to the time of life, according to the time when you, when you may be watching the video, it changes. Just make sure you follow the links respectively to uh, not have a problem whenever you are grabbing any line of code. So the second one is over here. I'm just going to quickly go to dependencies. I think dependencies is here. I'm just going to uh, put that so you don't need to trouble yourself. So the third step, after adding this, I think I, I put it down, although it's not that uh, formatted, but at least you can have a, a better understanding of what I'm doing for my VS Code. So we have to add these string values. So these string values can be found here. And actually the, the number you can see here or the app ID you can see here is actually the same app ID that my app have over here. So I created an app. So the same ID is same ID. I mean, so I'm just going to copy that immediately. I'm going to go over to source main res values strings. And I'm going to just paste that and make sure I format that perfectly. Save it. And next thing is to make sure I have the permission given. So I think, I, okay, I didn't put this down on the blog post, but uh, you can give a permission if one is not given in your Android manifest.xml file. So by default, 
Reality projects usually comes with its permission. So you don't really need to trouble yourself on that. So the next thing is to grab this line of code. So this line of code here is exactly what you see here. So like I said, it's, uh, it can change, but I just put it down so that you can really have more understanding of what we are doing. So I just grab this line of code. I can come over to the Android manifest file. I'm just going to paste that because it's an activity and also a metadata for us to use that. So I'm just going to format that perfectly. The next thing we need to do, I think, uh, is to add this import in our main.java uh, file. So if you check the Facebook documentation, this is where they just stopped. And there's nothing much they tell you, except you are working your, uh, for production purpose, then you can move ahead and maybe generate some keystore code and then insert those code on your, on your application. Then you can handle the rest of everything you want to handle. But for now, your application is not going to work if you don't have this uh, line, at least this line of code imported in your main uh, application or Java. Of course, this one is just to collect some uh, data from your Android phone and send it back to Facebook for them to enhance the SDK or to make it more better and more useful for the developers community. But I'm just going to grab both of, uh, both of them so you can just freely grab that and you can come over to uh, App Source Java main application and if you need the so sorry for that guys you need here you can just paste that so why you paste that you just quickly save it so that's the step we have followed so one more thing is to run our application to make sure that every single thing that we have done is actually working so i'm just going to quickly uh run android so we're just going to give it a couple of seconds to run for us. So if you can observe, it's going to link automatically. We don't need to link all these things. Just like I said in the first place, we don't need to manually link our package. So let's just uh, give this a couple of seconds and see the output. So if everything we, we did went perfectly, our app is not going to crash. But if anything we did was wrong, then surely our app is going to have a problem. Then we have to. Uh, follow the steps again and make sure we put everything right in place and besides if you put everything in the perfect place it's supposed to be your app is not going to have any single issue so our metro Monla is active and running so i'm just going to maximize that a little bit it's going to install the app uh, actually it's installing the app on my cell phone but i think i have to terminate that and make use of the emulator i have on my pc So right now we have our application running and you can see our application run effectively it just run effectively without having any issue and any problem so let's just go ahead and uh make sure that we can be able to uh, at least make use of that facebook login login uh, button at least that's where we are going to stop for this tutorial so since everything worked perfectly i'm going to close all these files i opened i think i just have to save this one for now Let's just start afresh and do that again. So I'm going to still clear everything here except for the defaults. I'm going to quickly import React Native. So I'm going to import the view and the text because I don't really need much. One more thing is to import the React from React. I'm going to create a class, a class based component. No, sorry, a functional based component. Just export the default that is going to return the view and also uh, the text for now. Let's just say app. So I'm just going to quickly style this. I'm going to justify everything to the center and also the, align the items to the center. So this will quickly, uh, quickly bring this to the center if we did perfectly. So I don't know why. Align items to the center. Well, let's just go ahead. I, I don't really know why it's not bringing it to the center. It kind of looks funny. So we are done with every other step, just like I said. So for us to make use of that 
login button we just have to grab this line of code and import it also at the topmost part and uh, let me just open that up okay. then here i'm just going to change this text to login button so i'm just going to save that and boom you can see we have our application over there so i just did a hard refresh and uh, everything is still at the top maybe it's because i'm not using a flexor form so you can see right now we have it at the center i think you can as well style this maybe you can style it and give it a height of a height of 42 so that it can be a little bit wide uh it kind of disappeared that's that looks great so let me just leave the default way it is and uh, let's just use it that way but you can see we have that uh, facebook login button and we don't have any error so when i click on this it, it should at least uh, try to make use of Facebook. So you can see right here, it's going to take me to a page for me to uh, sign into my Chrome and as well sign into my Facebook. Of course, I'm not going to go through that. So, but this has given you a clear preview of how you can use uh, the settings to, or the React Native Facebook SDK to set up a login button. So for example, if I'm logging to my Facebook right now and I click on this button on this uh, cell phone, on this emulator on my screen it's going to actually bring out my account and ask me for some permissions then I, when i click ok i can now move on so there are some couple of settings this login button comes with and then you can find that on uh, i didn't actually put it on the blog but you can find that on the github repo so when you scroll down you can see there are some couple of things you can actually uh, do when the login is finished that's it over here you can get the access token uh, then you can, there are some a lot of things you can do you can use the login manager you can share dialogue so far you uh, linked everything and this set up everything properly you don't really need to worry about that so that's it for our tutorial so thank you make sure you hit the like button and also the subscribe button